Well, I'm Greg Ratliff. I'm the uh, the Edgewood High School wrestling coach, and this is my this is my seventh year as the head wrestling coach here. The Edgewood wrestling program has really uh, really taken off in the last couple of years, and the team aspect of wrestling is a big deal to me. And so, really, it's been our goal is to be able to get our team to the to the team state tournament and to compete in that team state tournament. Um, so it's our second year. Last year we placed fifth and we've won conference the last four years as well. So the team is, has continuously kind of built on the previous years and, and so you know, we're hopefully improving on what we did you know, the last couple of years. Last, we finished second the last two years in sectionals um, and, and lost by half a point at sectionals last year, which is a real stinger. But it's, it's, a, it's a program that just keeps, keeps raising their, their expectations every year. A basic match can last six minutes and the three two-minute periods. The world's quickest match has been four seconds, and the world's longest match will be, uh, with all the overtimes, can be eight and a half minutes long. So the basic premise of wrestling is to uh, take your opponent um, from a standing position and, and get behind them into the mat. So that's called a takedown. So you get, you get points for that. And then the other big thing is to put them on their back. So if you are on top, you want to try and turn them and uh, eventually you know, pin them. So that's, uh, that would be having their sh both shoulder blades on the mat for two seconds and then a pin is called. And that's, that kind of ends the match. So the, the two thing is to, is to take them down and then to pin them. How successful has this team been? That's obviously answered a lot of different ways. And, and we always talk about, we, you know, we have a poster on the wall that says to never settle. So our expectations have changed throughout the years and one of the first things we preached when we got here was to make things expectations so like our conference became an expectation for us that's not to say we're gonna win it every year but it was like this is what we expect of you and you know now we're trying to trying to push that even further once conferences become an expectation you know it, it's like well we want to make sectionals an expectation and we want to make regionals an expectation you know and to keep changing what you expect of, of your team and um, the first year here um, we had one champion and then we had two champions, and we had three champions. And our first year we were conference champs as a team, we had three conference champions, and we won by just a couple points. And then the next three years after that, we set records. You know, it was, we won by 80 points or 74, and I think last year may have been like 82 points. Uh, last year we had a state qualifier, um, and it's tough to be a state qualifier. And, there, and, and Indiana is a, is a one class tournament, so there's not, there's not six classes like there is in football, um, the smallest school in the state is, is perceived the same as the biggest school in the state, and that and that's a challenge we look we look up you know look forward to honestly. So we've got we've got more levels of success that we would like to reach. So our most successful wrestler that we've had in the program since I've been here um, would have to be Gabe Koontz. Gabe set tons of records for us. I mean you know wins and takedowns and and different different records for us. But but Gabe got third his junior year, and then turned around and got fifth his senior year, which you know sounds like a worse year, but I mean, he was, he was quite the wrestler. I mean, and he even got, to us, he got better from his junior year to his senior year. It was just a different weight class. And Gabe kind of, you know, really is a guy that I talk about, man. He had as much drive and as much passion and, and as skill level as anybody. And, and, but the other guy it had to be Damian Chambers at this point. Damian was our state, you know, was the only state champion that I've had. But if you want to you know, talk about accumulation of four years, Gabe put it together for four years. And Damian had a, a good two-year run. You know, he won or got to state his junior year, didn't place, but then he won it his senior year. So a champion sounds better, but a fifth and a third is pretty good too. There are tons of reasons to join wrestling. And you know, I'll, I'll sound like a salesman. Why join wrestling? And then there's tons of life reasons to join wrestling. And, and one of the, bi the big ones is discipline that it teaches you. It, it, you know the, the weight aspect and have you know having to be physically tough and practice. I mean, this is a sport that that it's not easy to come back to day two. You know, we even have guys in here that have wrestled for six years and they get beat up a little bit, but and they're pretty good. You know, but it's it's hard to come back to wrestling. So we like the way that I, I think I like to think that wrestling just makes you tougher, makes you a tougher human being. Um, and there are lots of life aspects, like lots of times in life, like I've just got to keep pushing hypothetically speaking in life. Like someone may take me down, give me an answer I don't want. Um, 
show me, show me an obstacle. But wrestling really ha has given us a reason to, to like fight through that, to show me like the I can spirit, you know, like it's nothing is too difficult for me because I, I have been through something tougher and, and I'm not going to allow someone to, you know, to keep me down. Um, so like the discipline, the toughness, um, and really the accountability of wrestling, you know, it's, it's a one-on-one -on -one sport, you know, it's, it's important to learn like just in life, like this is, this is on me and I have to do better and there's no one else to, to hide behind. Uh, I don't say hide behind, but like this is, I'm putting the spot, spotlight on me and that's, that's a really big thing to learn, I think. Wrestling is big because, because you go through so much together. You're complaining about having to watch what you eat and the tough practices where, where coach makes you sweat out, you know, and, and lose a ton of weight of practice. And it's just, other sports kind of have those built-in breaks, you know, and there's, for the football team, uh, you know, when the offense is on, the defense is off, or, you know, some sort of, there's always a built-in break. And in wrestling, there's no built-in breaks. And I remember thinking, like, as you are, like, face-to-face -face with someone, you know, or, like, combat with someone, that it's really, um, it's, it's a close-knit sport because you are physically working with someone every day. Um, you know, I, I'm really close to my wrestling group because I know the stuff they're going through. I know how difficult it is, you know, and they're close with each other. It's actually kind of been one of those things over the years where, where it's like, I want to let more, I want more people to come into our wrestling group, but it's almost like, well, those guys are so close, it's hard for me to get in. But you know, it's a pretty accepting group. So um, if you're willing to work hard, our, our guys, you know, want you into our group. If you want to become a wrestler at Edgewood, we have, we've started at all levels. We, you know, we have a K through six program. They had about uh, 60 wrestlers in it last year, and that's called our youth club. And, and that's we're trying to you know start start from the bottom up. So you know we want kids to start wrestling when they're when they're younger. But I've had very successful wrestlers that didn't start wrestling until they were. I had a kid that lost um, at semi state who didn't start wrestling until he was a junior in high school. You know I had a senior that didn't start wrestling or didn't start wrestling until he was a senior because he was trying to get ready for uh, for the military. So they just got to come to me and ask if they'd like to wrestle me, and we'll get you ready for whatever it is. You know, if it's, I like to be better at football, um, then it's, it's a great transition from, from wrestling and football. Um, the soccer goalie for us has wrestled, is one of my better wrestlers, um, because, and, there's, and there's some good skills. We talk about the crossover skills between soccer and wrestling for him. And uh, last year, one of our better wrestlers uh, competed in cross country. But anyone that wants to wrestle, we've, we've got a great junior high program. We've got a great youth league tournament. And uh, it's never too late to start wrestling. And if you, since you can start at four years old, it's almost never too early to start wrestling either. If you're wondering like how, you, how parents can help us out or how, how the community can help us out, um, we just want support, you know, and, and to show up to our meets, uh, learn, about the, learn about the program. Um, I'm trying to do more and more to get our alumni involved and watching us. And we want the parents to stay involved too and like keep supporting us. It's been big for us to try and build interest. In the, in the program and in the sport and you know you see how thing you know the crowds and the people that come out on a Friday night or Saturday night for a football or basketball game like you know you just want we want to make uh, our community want to come out and see us um, to just put that on the calendar hey you know this week the wrestling teams wrestling teams in, at home and we want that to be kind of in their in their calendar of something they want to come do.